Hello and welcome all of you in the today's session on Dermatology Pearls by Dr. Cheshta that is how to choose the college for post-graduation if you are thinking of doing Dermatology as your postgraduate subject. So welcome all of you. First of all, let me introduce myself. I am Dr. Cheshta Agarwal, your NEET PG educator. I have experience of around seven years of teaching all the postgraduate or the uh, students who are preparing for the pre-PG entrance examination. I've myself got All India Rank 261 in my NEET PG entrance examination. I have more than 10 publications in the different Indian and international journals. And I, the, I recently received the All India Best Original Article Award. I am the founder of the YouTube channel that is Dermatology Pearls by Dr. Cheshta, where you can find all the answers for your pre-PG preparation with respect to dermatology. I also teach the postgraduate students. You can also put your queries and you can watch my sessions on this YouTube channel. I also give you tips for the dermatology, the, the general skin and the related issues, as well as I give you some strategic videos to take care of or to cope with the current situations. So let us start the today's session. First of all, I would like to congratulate all the students who have achieved a good rank and obviously you are thinking of getting dermatology as your dream rank. I was also one of the students like you only when I was preparing. I got All India Rank 261 and I thought of taking Dermatology actually after that only. So Dermatology, it's a very good branch. If you talk about the workload, you don't have much workload here. You can spend your personal life, your family life and your postgraduate life together. It's an easy branch. You can easily go ahead with it. A very important decision which you have to make once you get a good rank is which college to choose. So now all this counseling and all will start and you have to pick a particular college which will decide how good dermatologists will become after some time. And you all know the rule that if you opt for a college in first round, you become non-eligible for the next round. So it is a very important duty to good or to get a good college or to select a good college in the first go itself. So I've made this video today so that I can guide you what all things you have to keep in your mind when you're choosing a medical college for your post-graduation in dermatology. So what all things you have to keep in your mind if you're thinking of getting dermatology as your postgraduate subject. The first and a very important thing is it should be a good medical college. What is the definition of good? Obviously, if it is a central institute, for example, the Delhi institutes like MAMSI, UCMS, etc. Or if it is BHU, that is Banaras Hindu University, all these are the central university colleges. Or if it is a good college like the Mumbai College, KM. Or if it is a Bangalore College, that is Bangalore Medical College, BMC Dermatology. So first of all, definitely the college should be good. I will tell you what all are the definition of a good college, but just wait for some more time. Second, you have to always take the post-graduation in a city where you know the language. Please remember, I've seen a lot of students who commit a lot of mistakes. For example, if you are a South Indian, not a very good person in Hindi, and if you take a medical college in North, it would be very difficult for you to survive. Same thing for a North Indian student, if you take a seat in a South India, where they do not know English, where they do not know, where the majority people do not know Hindi or English, it would be very difficult for you to opt for the medical college because in your post-graduation, a very important thing for you to become a good doctor is you should know the language. You should understand with what complaint the patient comes to you. So please choose a medical college where you understand the language. Very, very important. Next, you should always look for the professors who are there in your medical college. Your guides, your teachers should be good. If you read under a good teacher, you will always become a good doctor. So the professors should be good. What do you mean by good? They should be academically inclined. Because dermatology is a medical branch. You need to know what all the core dermatology includes. So if your professor is more academically inclined, you will get more opportunities to learn under the it will be very easy for you to understand the dermatology core. You can develop interest in academic yourself. So it is very important for you to lose, 
for the medical college where you have good professors the next and a very important thing is what are the machineries you have in your medical college what do you mean by machine as you all know that nowadays dermatology is practiced along with cosmetology and we have a lot of machines like lasers and all which are used even for the basic core dermatological condition for example we use lasers chemical peels for treating the basic dermatological diseases so obviously you have to choose a medical college where they have infrastructure in terms of lasers because specifically in government medical college it is not necessary that you have a fully flourished cosmetology department in your derma you should choose a college where the you where you have the lasers where you have medical uh, chemical peels because this will help you practice it more on the patients you will get idea how to practice cosmetology along with your dermatology core practice so that is a very important point next i would always ask you to prefer a government college over a private medical college because the number of patient is something which is again very important as you all know that more the patients of a single disease you see better is your visibility there are many phrases like if your eyes know your mind can see or your mind can only see when your eyes know so when you see a same disease 50 times 60 times different presentations it is very easy for you to diagnose in government medical colleges the patient load is very high so you tend to see a lot of cases during your post graduation only and trust me this will actually help you understand the disease its differential diagnosis and finally in your practice so please remember that you always should go for the government medical college so that the patient is more the patient load is more prefer the state where there is no bond now there are many states which has bonds like after the 3 years of your post graduation you have to stay there for a certain period and if you do not stay there for a certain period what happens you have to give a certain amount you have to give certain money so that you can break the bond now this is very important for example if you are working in a state where there is a bond but you are not belonging to that particular state for example if i talk about rajasthan when i was giving my post graduation there was no bond in rajasthan so it is very easy after 3 years you can just leave here or you can just leave this place and you can go and join in the state from which you belong but right now we have bond here also in rajasthan also we have bond so if you are joining a state where there is bond you have to think if you will break the bond you have to give a certain amount so that is again very important so college should be a good college i tell you what are the important things second it would be prefer better if you take a college in a state where you know the language the professors should be good you should have a state with no bond obviously government is more Uh, preferable compared to that of the private you should look for machines whether it is a laser or chemical peel including uh, in that proper college and you should you have to look for the number of patients the second thing is there are many students who ask me that ma'am is it better for us to go for diploma over md please remember md is always preferable md is always preferable over diploma So if you are getting diploma from a government medical college, but you are getting MD from a private medical college, I would recommend that go for MD because there are certain hospitals which prefer MD degree over diploma. They will not look for the college of MD. They will not look whether it is a government or if it is a private medical college from which you have done your post graduation. But they will definitely look whether you have done your diploma or you have done your MD from that college. So try to keep all these points in the mind. when you are selecting a college moving to the next point now what is this flow chart all about now please remember this flow chart i have made so that you can decide how good a college is first of all the college two things should be very important the machinery that college should have laser the very commonly used lasers which we are using nowadays is nd arc then we have a diode laser we are preferring both these lasers for the hair removal nd arc diode we have q switch laser for the pigmentary diseases so at least you should look for those 
colleges which are practicing cosmetology in terms of laser or they are preferring the chemical peelings we have a lot of chemical peels for example we have glycolic we have salicylic etc etc so you will get an idea how to do these procedures during your college time only and it is very important for you to at least have an idea of cosmetology it is very important next is academically inclined medical colleges prefer because it will help you become a good diagnostician and ultimately please remember that you only get one opportunity to choose your rank and it is always my recommendation that choose wisely thank you you can follow me for more such classes on telegram facebook instagram and you can just like and subscribe this youtube channel